Testing, testing. Testies, testies, one, two, three, what? Hello everyone, we're here at M Theory Records and I'm interviewing the very today. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello world. <laughs> we're, uh, this is our, you always throw that link in there. First of all, how did you all meet, get together, and become the very? Um, it all started about 2009, and uh, we had we had a bunch of songs, and uh, we added uh, some synth parts, and uh, we met these guys through the San Diego music scene. Actually, it was all on Craigslist through the personals, uh, <laughs> casual <laughs> encounters, and um, and yeah, we just you play music, yeah, and then we started that way. Today was our album launch at uh, M Theory Music, local 94.9. Recommended artist in the back corner, available um, at M Theory Music, and uh, we just played uh, our first in-store performance in our uh, rocking careers. <laughs> yeah. So if you want us to come to your store or even your home, let us know. Yeah, we do backyards. Uh, we do home uh, shows, huh? Quinceañeras. <laughs> we do bar mitzvahs, weddings. weddings okay. Um, bar backyard barbecue parties, Super Bowl parties. <laughs> awesome. Super Bowl party. <laughs> Rock. Okay, so now, um, how did you guys come up with the name for your album, The Discovery? Oh, let me take that one. Okay. There's okay. something cool about that, obviously. If you look at it, the name of the band is in the word. The Discovery. So if you separate it, The Very. And it's about discovering us as a band, our music. It's our first album. So it's really, everyone's discovering it with us. So. But yeah. Awesome. How would you describe your whole music background? I mean, is it punk? What where does it derive from? I think everyone's got a little something different. Punk, for sure. We got some punk in us. We got some mm -hmm. new wave. We got some, you know, random screamo, local Shoe rock. Case. Yeah. Yeah. When all is said and done, it's kind of more new wavy with a tinge of kind of hip hop with Lex doing rhymes and stuff on a lot of the new songs. Yeah, because I've heard you and you're like rap girl over here. Yeah, we're kind of going in a little bit we're of a new direction with that. As music writers, we tend to focus on hooks, on uh, lyrical hooks, and lyrical uh, meaning, that's important. Lyrical hooks. And we, yeah, we've, had, we've had a lot of songs that just didn't work because we couldn't find the right hook uh -huh. to, to keep people singing. You know, we like to write music that people will walk away with a melody in their head. And, yeah. and, and so something catchy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And from my understanding, you were nominated for what category in the music? The best pop album San Diego of music the year, Awards. 2011. And that's where all the hooks come in for the pop. They put us in that because you can just keep singing along. And how were they? How were the awards? San Diego Music Awards oh, yeah. are Oops. one of the oh, best <laughs> things that San Diego does. <laughs> You're all from San Diego? No. Yeah? No. I'm from Portland, Maine. Kala, 207. Uh, I do call San Diego my hometown now, but born and raised on the East Coast. Cool. I'm representing the 619 San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, born and raised. I'm representing the 916 backwards. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. All right. All right. And you're from here, right? Well, born in Mexico, but I spent many years here, so I might as well just say. Okay, I'm I from smuggled. San Diego. I smuggled her in my briefcase. In, in <laughs> night, <laughs> night. You can't say that, <laughs> amiga, <laughs> amiga. <laughs> so we got a little of Espanol. Mais je parle français aussi. Tu me comprends pas, je parle français, n'est-ce pas? Rien. I didn't, I didn't catch dommage. any of that. Yeah, that's what happens when you're not near Mexico, you're near the Canucks. So as far as shows and other performances, where can we keep our eye out um, to go see you? August 29th at the Casbah. That's a Monday night coming up. With Neon Cough, Death on Mars, and Scott Mathiasen for Staring at the Sun CD compilation release hosted by Mr. Tim Piles of 94.9. Shout out to Mr. Tim Piles! Yes. yes. Tim, Tim. Yeah, you can get a free copy of the compilation just for coming, so definitely check that out. And then Saturday, September 10th, also at the Casbah, the very with the donkeys, nervous records, jail weddings, and the country. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yay! Awesome. It be should be good, good. yeah. Cool beans. All right. Well, this is a cool oh. beaners. <laughs> right here. <laughs>
all everybody's. <laughs> You're honorary. You're yeah. wiping. Wiping. I'm, so. I'm wiping. <laughs> You're, You're a lima bean. bean. I'm a lima bean. <laughs> <laughs> I fit in. <laughs> so yeah, um, this was the the very at M Theory Records, and um, hopefully you will come out and see them, support them, and as always, um, Glenis Campanelli here, and it was nice seeing y'all. Bye. Thank you. Yay. Bye. Yay.